and welcome to Aerobics Oz Style. Our workout is a body conditioning workout today, so we'll start with a gentle warm up and then we'll go into some toning and shaping for muscles through the whole body. So, as they just said, come on, let's get yourselves moving. Up out of your seat, get the legs marching, keep the tummy muscles in tight, and just keep those arms pumping. Right leg leading, that's it. Stepping it out. Four more and three. Going to easy walks, right leg leading. Stepping out, pulling back. Stepping out, pulling back. Make sure as you step forward, a really wide V-shape. Push forward, squeeze back. Push forward, squeeze back, using the muscles through the legs. Four more times. That's four. And three. Change this one into an alternating single knee lift. Step and knee. Step, knee. Step, knee. So you work a little bit more strongly into the legs and the arms now. Reach and pull. Step and squeeze. Two more. One more time. Little combination. Three easy walks. One, that's two. Number three, then a single knee. Easy walks, three times down. Two, single knee. Try it again, three easy walks. That's one, hold your belly tight, two. Single knee now, changing legs. Take three, and two. Go back to single knees, now step touch. Step together. Little clap down in front. Step together. Make a step a little bit wider if you can. Really travel across the floor. Four more. Four, three. Change the arms now. Single up overhead. Stretch and lift. Stretch and lift. Working the muscles along the side of the body. Big stretches. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Now let's have four of those step touches forward down low. One, two, three. Take it back high. Four. Three, two, take it forward low, and then take it back high. Stretch and reach. Take exactly the same thing again. Keep it going. That's four, three, two, back high. Step and pull. One last time. Step, stretch, then hands right up. Go from the very beginning. Three easy walks. Take it low now. Down three. That's one, and two. Number three, step knee. Change sides. Three easy walks. Take a single knee now. Try that again. Easy down three times. That's two. Single knee. One last time like that. Down three. And two. Single knee, move forward, step and clap. Four, three, two, move it back. Make sure you're always looking a little bit over your shoulder so you don't trip over. Big step forward. Two, three, take that back, stretch. Two, three, same again. So we do four of each. Two, three, and back. Reach and pull, really stretch the ceiling. One last time, out, push. Take it back, that's four, three. Please step your feet really wide apart and just side to side, knees out over toes. Warming up through the hips, stretching out through the backs of your legs. Eight more here, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, hold it over on this side. Take a stretch on this side just for a moment, opening out to the inner thigh, lengthening through the legs. Other side, big stretch across. Press the knee out, push the hip down. Back to your single presses. Across, add an arm, reach and stretch. Look to where your hand's going, follow those fingers. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, take one arm up overhead, reach and lengthen. Really stretch it all the way out. Focus on your breathing, try and relax the shoulders down. Eight to go. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four times down low. Four, three, two, four times up high, stretch and reach. Two, three, down low again. Four, three, two, take that high, stretch out. Two more sets, down low, two, three, reach and press, four, three, two, last time down, four, three, two, take that high, and over. Again, we'll take a stretch, but this time turn your stretch around, little hip flexor stretch, lengthening out over the top, we'll probably come back with some lunges straight after this break. See you soon.
Okay, team, I said we'd come back with some lunges, but first of all, just take a few calf stretches. So leaning way forward, holding your tummy in tight, pushing your back heel down. Have a look at your back foot. Now, if it's turning out at all, you need to make sure that it's actually turning straight ahead. So just turn the toes around a little bit more. Straighten that foot up. Change it over and take your other leg. One forward, one back, pressing your heel down and leaning forward into that stretch. Feel a good pull down the back of the leg. Stay there just a little bit longer. That's four, three, two, and one. Coming up on the ball of the foot on the back leg, lunging straight down up, just lower and lift. Bending your knees straight down. Try and lengthen through the pelvis, drop your tailbone down. Eight more. And press. What muscles are we working? Yep, a lot of leg, a lot of butt. Hang in there. Two more times. Just one more. Step in and change legs. One forward, one back. Balancing on the ball of the foot, chest up. Lower down and press. Down and press. Again, just make sure that you're not actually leaning forward and sticking your bottom out. You need to make sure that rather than being in this forward position, you need to make sure that you're lifting your chest up, bending the back knee straight down. Just four more to go. That's four. Down three. Squeeze two. Take this one into some squats. Parallel feet, hands forward and across the shoulders. Squatting down and up. When you do squats, this is where your bottom does stick out a little bit. Pretend you're going to sit down into a chair. It's actually a good exercise to practice if you do have a chair handy. Just to sit down, lightly touch your butt on the edge of the chair and squeeze your way back up again. Good strengthening exercise for the legs. Breathing out as you push. Keep squeezing through the bottom, holding the tummy in. Eight more. That's eight. And seven. Breathing out, flex the bottom each time you come up. Four to go. Take that down. Two more. One more time. Let's take this exercise a little bit wider now. So feet go out wider, the toes slightly turn out. Take it down slowly and up slowly, incorporating a little bit of arm movement. Squeeze and lift. Control down, squeeze and press. Work with the breathing, inhale down. Exhale to lift and squeeze up, two more. Inhale lower, exhale, squeeze, push. One more time, a little bit fast now, hands on the hips. Straight down and lift. Breathe out. Eight to go. Keep flexing into your bottom. Keep pushing and squeezing. Come on, you want good butt muscles? Keep working them now. That's four. And three. That's two. And one. I think you've done really well. A lot of standing leg work. Let's go down the ground now and work the upper body for a moment. So coming right down, you've got choices of either your beginner push-ups or your bottom's way back. Tummy and chest there. So a lot of weight back here on the legs. Just down slowly and up slowly. So everyone could just start there and see how that one feels. Now remember, if that one just feels too easy, you can take it to the next level. The next level is where you walk your hands a little bit further forward. Take your body weight more onto the arms rather than back on the legs. Again, hold the tummy tight, squeeze the bottom. Same again. Down for two. Push for two. Controlling down. Breathing out, tummies in tight. Focus on the squeeze of the muscles. We've got four more to go. And press. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. Two more. Hopefully squeezing your abdominals up and in. One more time. Walk the hands back in. Hands under the shoulders. Knees under the hips and take your cat stretch, curling up and under, breathing out. And in, and out, and in. Stretching the spine, tucking the pelvis under. Four more the same. Push and lift one, control down. Really scoop that belly button up and in. Two more, breathing out. One more time, exhale and squeeze. Okay team, take your opposite arm and leg. Lengthen out, just hold your balance there. While you're doing this exercise, you're trying to draw the shoulder blades down your back. Draw your abdominals in tight. Okay, take that down, try the other side. Lengthening and stretching out through the fingers, out through the toes. Don't lift your shoulder up, draw your shoulder down your back. Elbow next to your ear. Stay there just a little longer. Four, three, two, 
and one. Everyone take a stretch back for a moment. Fingers out, bottom back. So we've worked through the legs. We've worked a little bit through the arms. Time to work some abdominals. Rolling all the way down. Your knees are bent. Heels in close to your bottom. Hands behind the head. Rolling your way up, two counts. Squeeze up two and down two. Breathing out, breathing in. Try and draw your belly button right down. Same again, squeeze and press. You could probably take about eight more of these and then we'll take a break. We'll see you straight after this break. We just finished off with some abdominals. Let's give the abs a break for a second, work again into the bottom. So hands down by your side. Draw your shoulder blades right down your back. All I want you to do is lift your bottom straight up off the ground. So you're gonna squeeze the muscles in the butt. Squeeze it and down. Push and down. Push and down. Straight up and down. Tummy pulling in tight. It's a little bit different to what you might do in a Pilates workout, where you actually articulate the spine and rolling up and down. So it's just a hip lift, straight up and down. Anyone who suffers a little bit of tension in the lower back area, you might find this one more comfortable than the one where you're peeling your bottom off the ground. So remember, this is an alternative to the rolling bridges. Squeeze up and press down, press down. Keep flexing into the bottom, parallel feet, knees in line with the toes. Take two more of the same, one more time, then all you have to do is extend one leg straight up in the air. So you stretch one leg out, take the same exercise again. Push and lift. Now if that's too hard for you working on one leg, take two feet back down or you can even just bend the top leg. That might make things a little bit easier. So it's your choice. Whatever's good for you. Four more of these. That's three. Nearly there. Two and one. Lower your butt down. Change over. Take the other leg straight up in the air. Flex the foot and stretch lower. Stretch, lower. Flex again, the muscles into the bottom. Breathing out as you push. Take eight more. Breathing out, seven. Hold the tummy tight and flat, six. Five, nearly there. Four. Breathing out, three. Squeeze, push, two. And one. Okay, team, bend the knees and roll over onto one side. Leaning on your elbow, holding your tummy in tight. Try and lift up through the rib cage. All at once, the top leg, open out and down. Squeeze and open. That's it. It's a little clamshell. Toes are down. Working the muscles through the hip area. Squeeze and lift. Keep the toes together. Just separating the knees and then closing back down. Try not to be sinking into your rib cage. Lengthening up, lengthening the spine from the pubic bone all the way through the top of your head. Four more the same. Push four. Breathe out three. Squeeze, push two. One more time. Okay, now two hands down, doing the side push-ups, chest towards the floor, lower down and up. So these are faster than the last push-ups we did. Take the chest straight down and press, straight down and push. Breathing out, eight more the same, straight down, press. You're still working the same muscles though. Pectorals, shoulders, triceps, four more. Push four, breathe out three, press two, and one. Okay, spin it around to the other side. So knees are together, feet are together. Coming down onto your elbow, lift up through the rib cage, and then just start by lifting one knee and down. Double check you're not actually dropping your hip backwards to do this exercise. Oop, I can't do that anyway, I'll roll down the heel. That's it, keep pushing the hip forward. Toes stay close together, coming in. Breathing out. Eight more the same. Try and focus on these muscles through the hip and glute area, doing the work for you. Four more times. That's four. Breathe out, three. Press two. And one. Now coming up, two hands down. Take the chest straight down to the floor. Breathe out as you push. Again, eight to go. Press the floor away strongly. Keep going. You're never locking out your elbows, keep them a little bit soft. Four more. Press four. 
Breathe out three. Nearly there, two. And one. Okay, bring your feet around in front. Turn your fingertips toward your bottom. And again, we'll focus in the triceps. Just bend the elbows and press away. Make sure you haven't got your hands too close to your butt. You need to have your hands a little bit further away. Hold the tummy in, bend the elbows. Squeeze, down, press. Really important area for a lot of girls to be working. Tend to get a bit soft in the back of the arms. So let's focus on that now. Make it a bit harder. All you gotta do is separate your feet, lift the bottom off the ground, same exercise, but holding more body weight. Down and up. Breathe in and out. Squeeze and push. Hang in there, we've got eight to go. Push through. Really feel the muscles working. Push yourself up. You're nearly there. Four more. Breathe out, four. Squeeze three. Squeeze two. Squeeze one. Do you remember last time we finished with some crunches? We'll finish again with the crunches. So do at least eight more. And we'll come back with some stretching after this break. all the hard work now we're down to doing some stretching let's start into the glutes we use those a lot today already so cross your ankle over knee out to the side and reach your hands through the center to get a good stretch into the hip area keep trying to focus on pulling the legs a little bit closer in really getting the stretch into the hip and bottom but try also not to be lifting your tailbone off the ground try and press your tailbone into the floor while you push your knees in towards your chest all right, lower your legs down. Take the top leg up in the air. We'll go hamstring to one leg straight up. You hold on to the back of your thigh or your calf muscle or your foot and slowly pull the legs a little bit closer towards your chest. The same idea here as well. You're not lifting your bottom off the ground. Try and press your tailbone down as you pull the leg in a little bit closer. You should be feeling a good stretch down the back of your thigh. If you want to increase the stretch, just turn the toes towards your shin out of your calf stretch, you're stretching all the muscles down the back of the leg. Okay, lower that foot down, cross the other ankle over, knee out to the side, or go glutes again. So take a breath in as you lift, and breathe out as you slowly pull your knees in towards your chest. Where are you feeling it right now? Hopefully, a little bit down the outside of the thigh and deep into your bottom as well. Just keep focusing on trying to bring it a bit closer. Work with your breathing. Lower your foot down, take your other leg up in the air for hamstring, and slowly stretch that leg in towards your chest. Remember what I said before about trying to keep your tailbone down, so no matter how much you pull the leg in closer, you're still trying to press your tailbone down. If you wish to increase the stretch, you now flex the foot. With that stretch, you get the foot flexed, stretching through your calf and through your hamstring all at the same time. Focus on your breathing, try and relax. Breathe out, pull a little bit closer. Great, then rolling onto one side. Lying on one side, grab the top ankle, pull the knee backwards and stretching out through the front of your thigh. Through stretched glutes, calves, hamstrings, and now quadriceps. Big team of muscles down the front of your thigh. Excellent. Coming up, take it on the other side. the knee back, pressing the hip bone forward, stretching and lengthening down the front of your leg. Okay, sitting all the way up, to release a little bit through your back, take a breath in and as you exhale, reach out through your fingertips as far forward as you can. What part of your workout do you find the most difficult? Do you find it's the strength work? Do you find it's the flexibility work, like the stretching? Find the cardio work. But if there's something that you need to work on a little bit more often, why don't you get onto our website, that's www.aerobicsozstyle.com.au, and check out all the DVDs and videos we've got available, because we have got flexibility, we have got strength, we have got cardio workout on there. Look on there and see which area you need to improve on, and that way you can work on a little bit more regularly. Or maybe if you're going traveling, you might need to take a copy of their workout with you. Unfold your body all the way up. 
Cross the other foot in front. Take a deep breath in, stretching up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, reaching out through the fingertips. Lengthening out. And then breathe out, drop the head down and feel a big stretch. Along your spine, into your butt and hips. Up into the upper back area. Slowly unfold out of that stretch. And sitting whatever's comfortable to you. If this isn't comfortable, just maybe sit yourself up on a cushion or a chair. Take some upper body stretches. Fingertips down the middle of your back. If you do this one very easily, take the top hand, bring it right around underneath and try and touch your fingers together. Link those fingers and have a good pull through. And you might find that you're better on one side than the other. Have a go on the other side. Come right up and over, fingertips down. Other hand comes underneath. Yep, this is my side that's a little bit tighter. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today. Keep working your way through a few more stretches and we'll see you for the very next aerobic solo style. Bye for now.